The next thing we need to look at is voltage gain in this circuit. Um, if we look at the voltage gain, voltage gain is equal to V out over V in. Now it just so happens that V out over V in, uh, the voltage across RL here to here is RL is in parallel with this resistor also. So V out, uh, the current through it, uh, we need to equate everything to an IR drop. So it's IE times um, basically RE. And RE is RL here in parallel with RE. Um, that comes out to 3007 ohms. Okay, the uh, input current is IB uh, times beta times oh, RE plus R prime E. Yeah, you can't forget to put this R prime E in here too. So input voltage is right here output voltage is right there so beta ib and ie are equivalent uh, relatively so they're equivalent um, so av is equal to re over re plus r prime e that's it well this is an interesting circuit there's no collector resistance here. And this is 3,007 ohms over 3,032 3, ohms. Wait a minute. Gain is like close to 0.996. Wow. We have a circuit here. AV our gain is less than one. Um, the smaller we can make this R prime E by having more current through this, uh, making this smaller, perhaps the better off we are. So gain for the circuit is less than one. Uh, current goes through the collector circuit, no restriction, goes through base to emitter junction, or base to, excuse me, collector to emitter. Yeah, we're doing conventional current flow here. Uh, collector to emitter junction, and it directly supplies current to your load. Now, this means that if there's no restriction in collector circuit, then the impedance we can run a lot more current through RL. Um, if there was a 3K ohm resistor here, it would restrict the current enough that we couldn't get enough here. But since we have no restriction at all in the collector, the only thing that restricts the current is the transistor itself, the voltage on the base of the transistor. So we can actually get quite a bit of current through RL. Uh, let's have a look at this. Um, they have, they say this has massive uh, feedback in the emitter circuit. What they're talking about is all the current through here develops a voltage across here that increases the voltage here. So if you increase the voltage here, the voltage here increases also. And the only difference is this 0.7 volt drop here in the base to emitter junction. And this is what they consider feedback. Uh, negative feedback is when you have the um, um, voltage at the emitter uh, increase at the same time the voltage that the 
base does too. Voltage gain is ultra stable. It is less than one. It's dependent very little on R prime E and the um, the distortion caused by R prime E. Uh, since R prime E is such a 25 ohms of this, R prime E is so small. It, uh, R prime E changes with the amount of current going through the base to emitter junction. If R prime E is so small compared to the, the load, all this, all this in here, then the distortion uh, that it would present to a circuit that um, the voltage here and the voltage here would be uh, the same. If you have a nice sine wave here, you'd have a nice sine wave here because most of the, most of, except for this very smaller prime E, of this voltage at this point would be developed by a linear resistor. That seems to be the goal. Now, in this circuit, the input impedance for the circuit is high, and the output very low, as we discussed, since there's no collector resistance.